the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 42, Leviticus 26 to 27. Two ways, two futures. God of love and justice talked about two futures that were to be different depending on how the people of Israel behaved. First point, using Leviticus chapter 26, Jeremiah prophesied Jesus' new covenant. Leviticus chapter 26 is the concluding chapter of the book. God's laws contained the blessings and punishments that were to fall on the basis of obedience and disobedience. Put simply, if one obeyed the laws in the Old Testament, they were to be blessed, and oppositely, if they failed to do so, they would be punished accordingly. But as we shall see, 900 years since entering the land of Canaan, the people grew further and further away from God's commands. Because of this, God sent the prophet Jeremiah and made him speak of Jesus' new covenant on the basis of Leviticus chapter 26. Second point, God promised to keep the country safe if the people obeyed the laws of a kingdom of priests. God told the Israel nation that while they kept the laws written in Leviticus chapters 1 to 25, He would guarantee for them two things. The first was their national security. The second was their economic prosperity. Third point, if the people failed to keep the laws, they were to be punished in three steps. The first step was a famine. The second was exploitation, and the third was captivity. If they kept the laws, blessings were guaranteed, and if not, they had to deal with the punishments. After entering Canaan, the Israel nation failed to keep the laws, and so they were punished in these three steps. The first was famine. This was apparent in the book of Ruth. The second was exploitation. This can be seen during the era of the judges. The third was captivity. This occurred in the days of Jeremiah. But God's punishments had a plan. The people of South Judah who were taken to Babylon were to return after 70 years. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors, when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. In order to understand the new covenant mentioned by Jeremiah, it is important to firstly understand the content of the grace covenant and the bilateral covenant. Fourth point, God wants humans to offer their special time and their special offering. Offering the best of our time and produce to God is the very least humans can do. God categorized how each age group was to give to God. This combined both the aspects of time and offering. Regarding tithe, God explained in detail in Leviticus chapter 27 and Deuteronomy chapter 12. Giving yourselves to God was a choice, but offering tithe was a must. Fifth point. 
Through Leviticus, we can learn about God's unlimited and unfailing love towards humans. Although God warned the Israelites the punishments they would receive if they did not keep his laws, we can see just how forgiving God is throughout the Bible. Especially if the people confessed that they did wrong, they would truly be able to discover God's unlimited and unfailing love. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.